Good morning, students. My name is Blagica Arizanova Shopov. I'm an English teacher in Dmitrija Chupovsky, a secondary vocational school in Vele. Today we are going to talk about transport, types of tra transport, classification of transportations, and the, signific the significance of transportation. Of course, we are going to mention synonyms of uh, the word transport. So first of all, what is transport or transportation? That is the process of moving an item from point A to point B. So transport means the movement or the action of transporting someone or something like person, people, animals, or goods, or the process of being transported from one location to another location. Before we proceed to the importance of transportation, let us take a look at the different types of transportation. It is classified into three basic forms. Transport infrastructure. This form of transportation comprises of the fixed installation of terminals for interchange of cargo and passengers. It includes railways, roads, waterways, airways, pipelines, canals and terminals like railway stations, airports, warehouses, bus stations, and also refueling depots, seaports, and tracking terminals. The other classification is operation. This type of transportation identifies the way in which the vehicles function and the methods that accomplish this purpose. So, it includes policies, legalities, and financing. And the third classification is the passenger transportation system where operators provide either private or scheduled services such as freight transport and bulk transport. So what types of transportation we know? Road transport plays a significant role in the progress of economic and social states of each country. The transportation service is regarded as useful and preferable and it's known for its flexibility, ease and speed. The rail transport is considered to be the lifeline of some countries. People get easy access to various inaccessible areas. With railways, it becomes possible to bring in people and materials from different parts of the country that was earlier not possible. Air transport. This mode of transportation is significant for its fast transport. and the water transport offer one of the cheapest, the cheapest mode of transportation as there is no need to create any transportation route, both internal as well as marine water channels such as canals and rivers provide water transportation in the country. Pipeline transport you know, this type of transport is used for gases and liquid types of transportation. And ropeway transport, this is usually common in um, a tourist places, um, such as in Paris or maybe some mountain sightseeing, etc. So the, significant, the, the significant, significance of transportation basically promotes 
economic growth in an organization in um, following ways. It gives better productivity, it enhances accessibility of labor force and job, it improves supply chain efficiency, the increase or the increase is business productivity. Um, it makes improvements in transportation, uh, enhances the reach of business and people to find relevant services, jobs, activities, goods, and productivity. This, of course, results in increasing the productivity of an area impacted by the better transportation system. The other significance is the enhance of accessibility of labor force and jobs. This is another economic advantage of transportation and it provides a larger pool of employees for the job market. The other significance is that opens new avenues for businesses. New rail, metro lines and subway attract new commercial and residential development. This provides passengers and businesses with various options to earn as well as spend their money. So better access and improved transportation projects lead to economic development of metropolitan areas. And uh, the last significance that we're going to mention right now is the one that improves supply chain efficiency. It's quicker and easier, it provides quicker and easier access to required materials and supplies results in its faster delivery to customers. By improving access to goods, services, markets, housing, employment, education, and healthcare, the expense, of, the expense of movement of goods and people are reduced considerably. So this, in turn, again increases economic development and productivity of a business. What are the synonyms of the word transport? You may find it as transfer, as transmission, as movement, carrier, transit, traffic, shipment, shipping, delivery, distribution, carrying, car, carriage. I believe especially shipment and shipping are very popular nowadays between uh, young generations. And as a conclusion, I would like to say that transportation forms are the backbone for any nation's development. With all the above ways, continuous growth of transport, its convenience and ease leads to economic growth of a nation. Thank you very much for your attention, students. Have a nice day.